Fast moving targets live from Eurosonic Norderslag. Uh, Buma Music meets tech two days in a row of interviews, pitches, uh, etc. New guests every uh, half hour. Hi, um, who are you and what do you do? Hello, I'm Mario. I'm from Songflow. And what we do is we, uh, with our platform, you can make sure as an independent artist that you can put your music out there on Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, and all the other uh, important music services uh, for just five euros per track per year. And you keep 100% of your money and 100% of your rights. Um, um, uh, uh, we, we've been talking uh, uh, to you in, in, in the past as well, to, you, to, yeah. to your company. Uh, well, I was wondering, what have you learned uh, about uh, about behavior of people, about behavior of fans, is it about the music industry, so to say, in the, during the last couple of years? Uh, one of the most important things that we learned is that uh, independent artists who start uh, not at a big record label, but just for themselves, always find new ways to do their promotion and, and uh, really um, uh, cool ways, such as um, uh, when you want to attack playlists on Spotify, and with attack, I, I just I mean, of course, be on a playlist and make sure that's that's working for you. Uh, one of our artists um, uh, just sent a message to one of uh, the biggest playlists in Holland, uh, represented by just an individual, and he he asked, "Can I be in that playlist?" And he was in a playlist, and he uh, made a lot of money with that, doing that, and again, a lot of fans. Uh, by being that cheeky, basically. Yeah. Hey, so, so h how important are, for example, playlists uh, on Spotify at the moment? It's, in a way, it's the new radio. People want repetition of songs, of course, and that's what something what 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 uh, what radio gives you. Uh, in a way, Spotify and Apple Music and all these are uh, do that too. So you have uh, an early morning playlist, you have a run playlist, you have a afternoon playlist. Uh, and with all those playlists, you can um, you can make sure that when you are featured in those playlists, that people will hear your songs, uh, repeti uh, per yeah, more than just one time. Yeah, uh, the repetition, repetition of the uh, yeah, yeah, of the songs. Hey, um, uh, uh, what I want to do is sort of an exercise. Is say I'm a um, uh, I'm a starting artist. Uh, I, I, I made uh, I did record. Uh, well, what is it? 15 songs, for example. They sound really good. I'm really happy with them. Uh, and, and then, uh, how, how should I go from there? Well, if you have 15 tracks, that's an album. It's an it's a it's a double album. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, what's really important for independent artists now is that they make sure that uh, at the end of the day, what is it that you want to do in your, with your music? Do you want, really want to play live and a lot? Do you want to be signed to a bigger label? Uh, whatever that is, that's that's. That's the first question that I ask. Doesn't matter who it is. It can be a well-known artist. It can be an artist who has nothing yet. I just always ask, what is it that you want to do? And when it comes to distribution, uh, what we see now is that uh, just making use of singles and regular releases is something which can benefit an artist. And especially when you have a whole uh, strategy surrounding that. So uh, if you, for instance, look at Hone, who is also playing at Eurosonics Slag this evening, I guess. Um, he just released songs, he released EPs uh, steadily on, on Spotify, and he saw what sticked and what didn't. And of course, he got picked up on Spotify as well. He was, was on all the right lists. Uh, but with that strategy, he can, he can target his, uh, his consumer base, basically. And he can also see what uh, what songs people really react to and that's something especially when you have 15 songs I think I hope that it's not like all one 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 thing that you're doing but maybe multiple styles and genres so I would really say experiment with what, what you have and see if you can make cool strategy of releasing certain tracks uh, mailing different blogs and see what sticks with your audience and, and build from there yeah. and then maybe who knows in a year or maybe two years, when you have enough people asking for your album, release an album. Yeah. So there's, uh, there, there's um, so in the past uh, we were living in the well, we, pop music started as a singles um, uh, world, eh, where that's what people did, release singles. Then it became an album uh, uh, world. So are we more or less back to to, to to basics now? In a way, digitally speaking, we are singles. So it's not that 
well, I sometimes do it actually, but it's not when you have uh, a new album from a new artist that you say, oh, I want, uh, I, you really like one track, you put that one track in, your, in one of your playlists. It's not that you do the whole album in your playlist. Uh, and that's something that, that starting artists should, should remember is that uh, albums are really uh, beneficial when you want to do your, your press. So if you want to have a feature in one of the magazines or one in one of the papers, um, they still want you to have an album. Yeah. If you just say, I have one single, let's do some promotion, everybody would say, okay, when's the album coming? Uh, but when you look at digital, it's really, uh, it's, the op it's the opposite, yeah. basically. But um, you, you say, you mentioned uh, the example of an artist putting out regularly stuff, etc. Um, uh, uh, so so is, there, is there no danger of overdo it? Of, eh? If you release too much, too many tracks, or, or can you release a track every month? You can release a track every month. And uh, what I think is the, the strategy should also be indeed let's call it the Disney strategy, they would release, an, uh, they would release a, a video of one of the movies and it would be only uh, available for a certain amount of time and then they would just pull it out of the stores and then everybody was looking, oh, where's Bambi, where's Bambi? And then after two years, they released Bambi again with a different version. So that's something which you could see as well is that, of course, you need to release uh, music and not that often. Um, and a continuous release plan, just every month a new track is something which you could do. Uh, it's also something that also has been done, so I would suggest really building a strategy and also being really flexible in the strategy. So if the first song really sticks and it just needs some more time and, and people say, oh, why don't you plug it at the radio, make sure that your strategy is also, yeah, can incorporate that as well. If somebody says, hey, this, this track should, you should really plug this track. Mm -hmm. And then that the radio can also do that thing with it instead of releasing songs uh, and on the other hand, if something doesn't work, just accept it and move on and, 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 and release it and release another track. Yeah. Hey, um, you, you, you help artists get their material on all the relevant, uh, uh, relevant platforms. Uh, so to you, what at the moment are the, are, are the most relevant platforms? Uh, Spotify, Deezer, Apple Music. Um, there are a few new ones coming, and also in, in Asia, which I think is really uh, attractive. We, what we saw last year is that, unfortunately, some of the, the streaming platforms also um, consolidated with the bigger ones. So since it's Beats Music, I was really happy when that came out. I really liked Interface and, and, uh, and how, how that felt, big artworks, and that's something that you see now more and more as well. But that's of course got 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 bought up by uh, by Apple, and that's now Apple Music. Uh, but it's mainly yeah streaming services such as Apple Music, Spotify, and Deezer, and especially in Holland, those are the the services that are really do matter. So forget about the downloads. Yes and no. In my opinion, you should be just people should should be able to find your music, and it doesn't matter what it is. Or uh, where they, where they, what they use. So be everywhere. This, yeah. So so <coughs> so for instance, if your if your aunt and uncle really want to buy your music on Amazon, let them buy it on Amazon. If your nephews want to stream it via Deezer, let them stream it via Deezer. Mm -hmm. And in that sense, that's also the what Songflow. Uh, our strategy in that sense is not giving the artist too much portals that aren't really necessary but only give them the portals that, are, that really do matter. Yeah. Hey, if I uh, ask you uh, to name uh, one um, uh, ongoing trend that is important, what is that? I always say metadata. I always say metadata. This is the most important thing ever. Metadata, 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 metadata. Metadata is the most important thing ever. It doesn't matter what, you, what you're doing. If you're, even if you're, if you're releasing a video and your metadata isn't correct, and you put it on YouTube and it doesn't say, oh, buy this track on, on iTunes because the metadata is wrong at the, in the back end. It's, it's from that to not getting your uh, Sena or not getting your Buma because your, your administration is not, is not right. So in, in one hand, it's metadata. It really is make sure that you have all your codes, ISRC codes, Aon UBC codes, everything is in order. And, 
Yeah, and, and that your administration is in, is in order yeah. so that you can... Yeah, so, so metadata is all the relevant information uh, uh, about releases, about where you're, you, you can, uh, you're being found, not just your title and your uh, the, the band name and your song yeah. title, yeah. Uh, but make sure so everyone can find you and if you... Uh, if there's money to be made, uh, it can go to you as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really, it's really important. And the thing is, sometimes you see that that it goes wrong with bigger labels sometimes as well. For instance, one what I noticed it was also last year, maybe two years ago. Time goes so fast. Yeah, two. When uh, uh, Kings of Leon released their uh, Mechanical Bull album, they did a continuous release plan as well. So they did Super Soaker, they did uh, Wait for Me, and then they did a different track. But one of the tracks, the metadata was wrong. So if you would, you, if you would look at Spotify, uh, first of all, you of, of course had like this is the new tr this is the new single or the new album, and then you have albums, then you have uh, EPs, and then you have singles, and then you have the rest. And they, the release date of that album was 1970. Of, of the single was 1970, so it wasn't on the top of the singles list. It was at the bottom, and that's that that's just metadata, and that's just a really big band. So. Mistakes are inevitable, of course, but please make sure that your metadata is, is correct and consistent you know, over all the platforms. Yeah, boring but important. Yes, and money at the end of the day. It's also about money because yeah. it's when you when you want to collect at the at the collecting societies, they ask for that boring stuff as well, and then you're really glad that you did yeah. everything in order and you have everything in order, so you can really collect everything which you what you. Hey, hey, if there's an yeah. aspiring uh, talent uh, coming up to you and asks you. Uh, is there still money to be made in, uh, in in the world of music as an artist? What do you say? Yes. Now more than ever, maybe. Yeah. Okay. It's not that there is more money now than. What I was trying to say is there are more ways, more portals in which you can um, put your content on and monetize it. So you have YouTube, you have pa Patreon, which I also really like. It's a website where you. Uh, uh, can build a fan base and they tip you every month uh, for creating content. So if you say I'm a single songwriter, every month I'm going to write a song and it's going to blow you off your socks. Um, they can say, okay, I really like this. I give you every month for every track, I give you five euros. And you have people on there that uh, that collect like three thousand dollars or maybe more a month for doing what they love because it's like a direct to fan platform. Yeah. Um, Fimeo also has tip jars, I guess. Uh, there are a lot of platforms. You can crowdfund. There are a lot of platforms when uh, that that an artist, I think, doesn't really think about when they when you say making music. Of course, there's money to be made in streaming as well, but be aware that it also has to do with skill. So don't think that when you're really an obscure band dealing in progressive doom uh, lounge metal, jazz, pop, hip hop. Uh, <laughs> Don't think that your your that your target group is that big that you can really make tons of uh, tons of money no. with that. But you you didn't do that with your records as well. I think most of the time uh, th those artists it's always yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they just find it. for those artists I think like Patreon. So if you maybe you have like 100 people that really dig what you're doing yeah. and they just say here is 20 euros for everything you put out, uh, then yeah. Yeah, then so you're with two, uh, two k, two uh, k a month. Yeah, that's, so that's pretty, uh, yeah. Hey, uh, uh, okay, um, yeah. Thanks a lot for your information. You're or welcome. is there uh, so some news you want to share with, uh, uh, what, what, what the, with the world that we should know about? Well, uh, just uh, it's not necessary. I just no, well, that's, and one thing that's uh, if, we, if we if we want to talk about the future is that, um, in my opinion, I think video is going really going to be the future. So. If I would want to give a, a, a artist advice, it's make sure that you have your video um, in order as well. So, in that sense, sky is the limit. You can you can go to a lot of Porsches and Mercedes to to produce vi videos, of course, and make sure that you do really a video as a commercial of your band, of your as an artist, of three minutes. Make sure you do the best you can because it's video that's going to be 2016 in my opinion
<laughs> Sorry. Uh, no thanks a lot. So uh, uh, take care of your uh, videos. Uh, thank you very much for uh, watching. We're two days here, two days of interviews, two days of pitches of startups, two days of talks. Um, we go on here uh, later this uh, afternoon. And if you're uh, watching on demand, you can find all the stuff on fastmovingtargets.nl and uh, on our YouTube uh, channel. Thanks a lot.